How good is ChatGPT5 for coding? I've vibe coded six apps with ChatGPT5 to test it, and some of them are pretty cool. So let's have a look. So first, I've created this solar spaceship game uh, where you control a, a spaceship and uh, basically you can move around. Okay, so uh, this took me a couple of hours. Uh, but it was purely with vibe coding, so I didn't uh, didn't manually code anything. Really, I know nothing about uh, programming games and physics, etc. Uh, it's packaged in the Next.js apps, and it uses uh, D3 and Canvas uh, in order to uh, to render the game, if I'm not wrong. And uh, and yeah, as you can see visually. Uh, the um, uh, visually it's pretty cool. Uh, you have some nice effect here. So here you have the sun. Uh, here you have different planet, and you have a a shadow effect. So you can see on the planet here, uh, one face is in the shadow, um, and you have also uh, asteroids, uh, and you have other spaceships around me. Uh, the sun also has some nice texture. Uh, there is um, a um, a halo around the around the sun, uh, and yeah, and also like when I accelerate, you can see that uh, the engine here, so uh, it appears to be more intense. Uh, and you can see also in the sky, so you have uh, all the stars. So basically what took time was to tell the game um, to specify all the details because I started with one basic prompt, make a spaceship, but uh, a lot of things were not ideal. For example, um, we were missing a lot of detail. For example, the sun didn't have any texture. Uh, there was just one spaceship and the, the spaceship was his, his direction, his, uh, his shape was all weird. Uh, and also the physics were a little bit different. There were no, uh, no asteroids. Uh, there were no stars, so yeah, I had to manually specify a lot of these things. Um, but overall, the result is pretty decent. So um, yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, I've never created any game myself, and really, when I see this, it really makes me want to try to make other games because really, with vibe coding, uh, anybody can do something. Um, so the hard part, of course, is to make the game fun to find uh, the uh, some sort of gameplay. So, for example, here you could you could add some way to shoot at other spaceship, for example. But uh, that would be a little bit more complex. But it's already quite uh, quite good. Okay, so the next demo is this pixel art editor, um, and this one I did it pretty fast in uh, just I think just twenty minutes. Uh, the first prompt was re really good, and after all I had to change was just uh, some visual detail. But basically what you can do here, you can specify the size of the grid, okay? Uh, you can tell if you want any grid at all. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can change the color uh, of your of what you are painting here. And so after here, you can you can paint something, you can, you can erase it. Um, and you can also clear everything. You can do uh, something random here. And okay, and let's do something from scratch. So if you paint uh, after, you can export it. So here, let's export the PNG. And, uh, and after, you will see it as a PNG image uh, in, on your file system. So um, pretty good. I was pretty impressed by this one because um, my first prompt was almost right. Okay, so next demo is this uh, Neon uh, Snake game. So this is the traditional uh, snake game. Uh, actually, I don't even know how to play a snake game, but, but yeah, so it works pretty well. Visually, uh, it's pretty nice. And uh, and here you can also change the speed. Uh, if it's too boring, you can make it faster. Uh, and here you have some explanation on how to uh, to use the game. But uh, yeah, this one it was pretty much a one shot. Uh, it worked directly. Okay, so next we have this uh, this uh, landscape simulator where I added a city. So it's like my mini Sim City. 
And um, basically what you can do is you can change the different parameter here, like height, roughness, uh, and you click on regenerate and it's going to gen regenerate a different world. Um, so this one took me about 30 minutes to create. So at first there was a basic landscape generator, but I wanted to make it more interesting. So I asked the AI to add some boats here. Like you, you can see the movement are a bit screwed up. It doesn't move in the right direction. Um, and here we have a couple of cities also with buildings. So I, uh, I, I needed to, I had to, uh, to specify this because by default it didn't provide it. And I also had to specify that I wanted some windows, some, some texture. I wanted different colors. Also wanted some, some streets, I uh, wanted some cars on the street. Um, and, uh, yeah, and here you can move in all directions, zoom in, uh, zoom out, and you also have some shadow effect. Um, and overall it's pretty good. If you get really close, you will see that some detail are weird. So sometimes the streets, for example, are not on the ground. Uh, but when you consider that everything was generated with AI, uh, it's pretty decent. Okay. So next, um, I also wanted to test if we could do some normal apps or not some game, but some stuff that we could actually, um, uh, some some normal app like a sort of SaaS, for example. And here I did a clone of Coin Market Cap, and so here you can search for any coin. For example, here Solana. Um, you can click on coin here, and you will see the trading chart. And here you can change the time periods: so one day, uh, one week, one month. And you can see a candle chart, and you can also see. Uh, a trend line so this is the um, the average uh, the average price for the last 200 days I believe um, and so this uses a candle chart library from um, from interactive brokers who which is a, a, a famous stock uh, online stock broker and they also have this nice charting library so this one took me about one hour to do uh, the first iteration the chat didn't work and so i had to uh, spend some time to debug uh this uh, charting library which is uh which is quite complex to do because i had to do the integration with react and so this is something i've uh, i've never have had to do a, a, a um an in an, an an integration of a charting library with React because basically th this charting library is not designed to work with React. So you need to have some advanced knowledge of React. So in this case, being a developer helped me because I was able to figure it out, but with the help of AI. Um, and, but yeah, like uh, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, we also have the volume here. Okay, so the part where AI was pretty smart was to figure out the UI uh, and also to figure out how to use the API of CoinGecko, because that's the API that I use for the data. And so I didn't have to um, to look too much in the, the, the data structure, the, doc the documentation of this API. Uh, by default, it was working pretty well. It's just this integration with React that was posing problem. Um, and final demo is a uh, Typeform, so a Typeform clone. So, you know, Typeform, this is this service to create forms dynamically. It's very popular for online businesses. Um, and recently there was an indie hacker who shared his result, um, his, um, his revenue. So this is someone who cloned Typeform and who is making 10K per month. And so even with a very simple ID like this, you can monetize it. And with Vibe Coding, this is typically the kind of app that you can do very easily with, with Vibe Coding. So the way it works is you click on new form here and here you can say, for example, I don't know, uh, new leads. And here this is gonna be the URL. So for example, uh, I don't know, my coaching program and you click on create. And after you're gonna add a different field. So for example, uh, okay, uh, now let's delete this one. Uh, why do you want to join the program? Uh, why do you want to join the program? Uh, explanation here, okay. Then um, 
short text here. Uh, what is your job? Uh, job here. Okay. Uh, then we. What's your email? Okay. Your email, John. John at gmail.com for the placeholder and maybe a select here uh, okay so uh, what is your income in here we'll say okay uh, less than 50k uh, 50k 100k more than 100k okay and you can also specify a webhook url so um, if you want this form to call an external api after it was submitted so you, because you need some integration with an external service then you can also do it and after uh so let's click on publish okay so now it's published and now if we go to dashboard so we can see our form uh and here we can open it and here this is what the end user will see um so here let's fill it to see how we can see it in the dashboard so i want to join i want to make more money okay what is your job uh, i'm a software developer my email is julian at theblocks.com Okay, what is your income? All right, submit. Your response was uh, was recorded. All right, so now let's go back to the dashboard. And if we click on submission, uh, now we can see the submission here, the date, I wanna make more money, software developer. Uh, and yeah, so that's, that could be a dropping replacement to Typeform if you are paying for Typeform or if you want to monetize this project, you could also do it. Um, and Vibe Coding was really good at this. Um, it took me just um, it took me just 30 minutes to do this app, really. Um, the first version was almost perfect. Um, and then there was no technical difficulty. So those six demo uh, are pretty cool, but uh, this is not um, the the only thing that I want to mention about ChatGPT5. Um, so I also want to mention about the different models that are available. So here, this is the API pricing. And so in the API, you can access so ChatGPT5. So that's the main model, but you also have a smaller model, uh, ChatGPT5 mini and nano. So most likely if you use the API, you're gonna use a ChatGPT5 nano because it's, uh, it's very powerful already. And in terms of price, you can see that ChatGPT5 nano is cheaper than 4.1 nano. Um, so that's a good thing. And there's this other one, ChatGPT5 uh, chat latest. So why do we have this other one? So in the UI of ChatGPT, um, they actually have two ChatGPT5 model, the normal one and the thinking model, which is uh, basically like a little bit similar to O3 before. And so if you use ChatGPT5, that's the ChatGPT5 thinking model. And if you use chat latest, uh, that's the normal one. So uh, not thinking. Um, and another interesting detail is that they've increased the context window from 200,000 token in O3 to 400,000. Uh, so now you can inject more context in your prompt. It's still not as good as Gemini 1 million token context but it's going in the right direction and there is also a new parameter in the api which is the verbosity parameter so you can control basically the length of the answer from uh from chat gpt um in terms of pricing so here as i mentioned chat gpt 5 nano is cheaper than uh, 4.1 mini but it's also much much cheaper than cloud opus so cloud opus 4.1 is 7.5 times more expensive uh, for uh, for output and 12.5 uh, uh, expensive for input. So roughly 10 times more expensive than ChatGPT. Okay, so yeah, so 
Uh, in conclusion, uh, ChatGPT5 is um, it's not a, a, a super powerful, a, a much more powerful model. Uh, it's not this giant leap in power that some of us were expecting. It's more an optimization and it's a hybrid model that combines some uh, older model of uh, ChatGPT, of uh, OpenAI. So this is like, this release is more a cost optimization slash uh, improvement for usability. And in terms of coding, so ChatGPT5 is better than Cloud Sonnet 4 uh, from my own experience, but is worse than Cloud Opus 4.1. Uh, but it's also much cheaper. Uh, for all other tasks, ChatGPT5 is better than all other models, uh, absolutely hands down. And there is also less hallucination, is more factual. Um, so, and it's also faster than O3. Okay, so maybe not the crazy release that everybody was expecting, but some really nice improvement for uh, usability. And by the way, the six demos that I've shown before, uh, so uh, the spaceship simulator, the pixel art generator, the uh, snake game, the uh, landscape generator, the uh, clone of market cap, coin market cap, and the clone of type form, all of these are available for free in my uh, free community. So if you want to join this community, follow the link down below. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.